Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here today with a look at the very first Primark miniature from Forge World. I actually had this for, I guess, about a year and a half now, and I never, uh, I never did a video on it because the the one they sent me was actually came all like kind of messed up. So <laughs> I, uh, I was just kind of waiting on a replacement, and then I forgot to call them. But uh, you know, kudos to uh, customer service for Forge World because they all. And they'll even replace something that I've had for a, a year and a half. So uh, awesome, awesome on them. We really appreciate it because my Angron torso out of this thing was was definitely uh, definitely all messed up. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is uh, Angron, the Primarch of the World Eaters chapter of Space Marine, or I guess Legion at the time of Space Marines. It was, it was the very first Primarch kit, and it's a very awesome kit. It's more of a more of a diorama than an actual kit with the you know the you got the different size little base on top of the uh, 60 mil base and you can you know you can kind of interchange them out and do different things with it of course he is uh in a very very action pose here as he runs a mock through a couple probably one of his own marines and another marine that just happened to get in the way there so from what you can see here there is a ton of pieces there is the uh the torso that actually came to me all all messed up and then there's a ton more i'm actually surprised they didn't put uh packing material in this thing uh, just to keep it from like basically shaking apart as it came across the ocean. Here's one of the uh, axes there. So this is uh, this is basically what I what I got from him here. And what happened was that as it was tra in transport to uh, to me, the top of uh, Angron's I guess it's like a crown or furl or whatever you want to call it here basically smashed you know shook apart and smashed against the sides and things like that and what happened was it, it actually all broke apart there it's supposed to be pointed and things like that and actually part of the part of his cowl here by his head actually snapped off too so i was a little disappointed with that and i never wanted to put it together and i called him up about some other damages here of late and uh, i was like hey you know what i, I actually my anger on's messed up so send me a send me a new torso if you can and sure enough one came in the mail. It took a little bit longer. It took about two weeks, but they sent express mail to me at no extra charge, and I was super happy about that. Again, thank you, Forge World. You are the best. So this is a this is basically a look at the kit here. As you can tell, he's <laughs> very uh, very much bigger than a normal marine. Let's kind of take a look at this. Here's one of the guys falling backwards, as you can see. Now, yeah, okay, I guess he looks kind of small, but you got to remember he he's bent he's bent at the knee right there, so he's actually kind of striding forward, you know, hunkered down in a, in a battle stance. So if you stood him up, he would actually kind of come up something like this. So you're talking a pretty big model. He's going to be probably on the scale with Ferris Manus's model, which was actually one of the, one of the larger ones thus far. Lorgar being the smallest and. Well, Fulgrim's just Fulgrim. He just dances about and does his thing. So here's the two different axe halves. You got Gore Child and Gore Father, of course, one of, one of which lived on for quite an eternity in the hands of Karn. Here's one of the uh, Marines that he's attacking and his gun and bolter, both sides of that kit. Then you got more of the uh, casualty kit. Here's one of Angron's uh, swords. Here's his cape. Very highly detailed piece here that you can kind of see from uh, from the actual uh, uh, all the detail and things like that. You can't really get that out of plastic, so the resin definitely lends itself very well to that. And then here's the the diorama pieces. Now this one actually normally it's like a it's kind of like a two part uh, that it pop you know it pops in and pops out. This one is actually only only a one part with this little topper here that Angron sits on. So you can actually glue it down and then just kind of lift it over, pop, pop it out. I haven't gotten to see this model yet, obviously, because I was waiting <laughs> to to get my <laughs> corrected model in, in in stock and stuff. And I think now that, now that I'm four Primarchs in deep, I might just wait till they all come out and just paint them up. But <laughs> that would be quite the exciting project uh, altogether there. So... That's pretty much it for this one. I mean, it's a it, it's a cool kit. I got I got nothing bad to say about it. And like I said, the one the one little little blight on uh, on the kit was easily corrected. It's just uh, totally on me there. So a very exciting kit. It's been out for about a year and a half now. You can still get it. Uh, for, Forge World's still selling it. I'm sure you know a lot of people already have them. I'm sure you've seen a plethora of these guys painted all over the internet. But it's uh, it's <laughs> it's a very very inspiring model. And if you play World Eaters or Chaos or 
berserkers or whatever whatever incarnation of these guys you can come up with is you definitely owe it to yourself to try to pick one of these one of these models up to, to lead your forces into battle then and he definitely looks pretty spectacular coming out of a Spartan assault tank that 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 kid is ginormous and that's a that's a whole nother thing for another day so that's pretty much it for this one guys uh, remember to stay in the trenches subscribe to this YouTube channel check out the blog blog.spikybits.com and listen to our podcast forge the narrative dot com as well take it easy guys spiky bits